Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Volca Sample 2. So the Volca Sample 2 was one of those gateway drugs that brought me on my synthesizer journey. I think I bought my NTS-1 on a Saturday, or at least I got it on a Saturday perhaps, and the next Monday I ordered my Sample 2. And maybe later that week I ordered my Volca Keys as well. So just to illustrate what kind of a cadence I was in, in acquiring additional uh, synthesizers. You might call it gas, but I didn't know that term back then. So. One thing is, I love the NTS-1 because it really opened my eyes when it came to, okay, well, what is actual synth synthesis and what are the terms that you need to, well, you need to understand. Whereas the Focus Sample 2 was my stepping into sequencing and setting up uh, loops and all of that. So that's one of the real things I really love about my Sample 2 that I play with, well, at least on a weekly basis still and I still use that as my go-to drum machine if I need to have something uh, with percussion in it. Um, so before we actually dive into the well, the actual sample too which is probably going to be more of a um, ret retrospective instead of a review but it's going to be nice, it's going to be extensive, you guys are going to love it. Uh, just a small reminder that the Strymon giveaway is still happening um, we haven't hit 100 subscribers yet, so until that happens, everyone still has a chance to win that. So please go ahead and do as much as you can to get me to 100 subscribers and have a chance at that Strymon goodie bag. Um, then I would say, without further ado, let's dive into the Korg Volker Sample 2. So, the Volker Sample 2. This is a sample two, and you can recognize that because it has a USB port. So the sample one doesn't have one. Um, first of all, you've got your 16 step sequencer right here. And of course your 16 step sequencer also serves as a selector for some alternative functionality uh, where you can set the, the looping of a, for instance, uh, the looping of a sample on or off, uh, motion sequencing on or off or clear, and also to, well, to clear off uh, the, act the active step or a part or all. So when we talk about a part, we talk about one of these 10 parts. Each of those parts can hold a sample and, and that sample uh, can then of course be changed uh, by using the sample selector. You've got 16 memory slots there as well. And of course you can select them by holding down the memory button and selecting the memory slot you want. If you want to write something to a memory slot, hold down function memory and write it to wherever you want to have it. There we go. Um, well, play, record, probably quite straightforward, right? Uh, but let's dive into some other uh, nice little details about this. You've got a very, well, even though it's a very simple equalizer, it's quite powerful and you actually under, underestimate the amount of bass this little device holds and even if you can turn it up it's really impressive actually. So the other thing that I already mentioned is motion sequencing. So you can indeed in a part, one of those 10, you can assign a sample to that and you can then of course change the well, the variables on that sample but you can also have them evolve throughout those 16 steps. So you can, for instance, play with the speed and the pitch, and you can then have that evolve and record that change that you do throughout those 16 steps. And that's how you can do things like, well, like melodies or, or other things there as well. So let me just run you through the, uh, the, the buttons there. So you've got your sample selector, um, you've got your starting point, so where in the sample do you want to start? This is your length, so you can actually pinpoint exactly which part of the sample you want to use by using the start point and the and the length and you've got your high cut which is essentially a uh, low pass filter you've got your playback speed which will of course in influence the pitch you've got your uh, envelope intensity of that pitch as well so that will be influenced by the attack and decay 
and then you've got your level so you can actually have different levels for all of your samples so that's where you can actually have something that really sounds dynamic there as well and again you can record the motion that you do throughout those 16 steps again and of course everything will be quantized to those 16 steps um, you've got your your panning uh, this is of course a stereo unit unfortunately as I only have a two-channel audio interface, I'm recording this in mono, but you guys will uh, understand what it does. And then you've got your attack and decay for the amplitude there as well. So other than that, I would say, well, let's uh, give it a try, right? So I've got my, uh, my steps here. I've got some samples already selected. And let's uh, just start by uh, creating a, uh, a nice beat and maybe some melodies and see where uh, this device will take us. So as you can see, it's in live mode, which essentially means that I can just press these buttons and sample, which samples are, are loaded actually. I can also st step into step mode. And as you can see, this is already pre-configured. So let me just clear that down and let's uh, have a listen, right? So what I typically do is I just uh, select all of them, and play it. Well, that brings me back to the 90s. That's actually a quite quite a nice beat. So you can easily just change this to something that you like and do something like, maybe something like this. So that's a nice starting point, right? That's a nice beat. So let's go to the second one. And you can just change that and you see the actual sample number there in the, in the screen. I like this one. Maybe add a bit of swing to it. That's nice. Go to the next one. So I'm, as you can see, I'm using the part selector buttons there. And this is again. Okay, so this is a nice note already. I'm just going to go back to 84. So let me just show you how it works with the uh, with motion recording. As you can see, motion sequencing is now off. So the first thing I need to do is turn it on. You see that by the by the light that's now on. And what I can now do is I can just hold the record button and turn my attenuators there. But what I like to do is I like to do it with the speed and if I then hold the function button it will quantize uh, the actual uh, pitch as well so I'm just gonna put it in record mode hold down the function and just do something you can see the notes there on the screen as well don't really like that let's try that again That's already nice. And then maybe let's uh, skip some of them. What I can also do is add some reverb to that. So I can say I want to add reverb to number three. And then add a little reverb to it if I want, or just a little. I'm just gonna keep it at that level, I like this.
So, there you go. We've already created something that resembles something like a nice beat, right? So, I uh, hope you guys like this. This is something I'm trying to get right now. So, yeah, it's nothing special. You can then, of course, play with adding a bit more swing or a bit less. You can up tempo this. Slow it down. Add some more swing to it. Play with the volume. I can also say, you know what I want? Because I just want to mute this one because I don't like that. And of course, also say I only want to listen to the uh, to the beat. Put it in solo mode. You can also put it in reverse. So you're <laughs> reversing the actual sample. It's a nice, it's a nice touch. And then, of course, you can write this to memory however you want it. Uh, as I said, this quite, packs quite a punch, if you ask me. You can just uh, play around with it. This is such a great instrument, and I love to combine this uh, with some of my analog uh, or synthesizers and use this as my, my drum machine, actually. Because you can easily just create all kinds of drum loops. Of course, you are uh, limited to that 16 steps, but this is more than enough if you want to do something very quickly, very simple. But still, never underestimate a Volker. It's not a toy, it's a pretty serious music instrument. And you can do so much things with this. So, one of the other things I'd like to show you is how you can actually load additional samples to it. So, I'm just gonna. Well, let's stop this. And let's open up the librarian. And it's now, of course, first downloading whatever whatever is on the actual Fulker. And what we can then do is, of course, load another sample. So I've got a uh, a small wave file ready to go. Just give it a second. There you go. So here you've got your patterns, those sixteen that we saw, and here you've got your samples, as you can see. And let me just. Uh, put the cursor right there and here I've got a small sample that I'm just dropping in as you can see it's first going to be down sampled which is of course fine and now we have this and I can just play that as well which is a nice coin sound and what we then do is we will of course then send this to the Fulker there we go and as you can see, it's only updating the ones that has been changed. So if we now go to sample one, three, four, you'll uh, you'll hear that. So let's do that. Let's select all of this and make sure that we are not muting anything. Yeah. So step one, three, four. That's a nice coin sound, isn't it? That's how easy it is to load your samples. Um, well, let's go back to the studio and let's uh, wrap this up, shall we? So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed my retrospective on the Korg Volker Sample 2, which is a lot of words to describe such a small device, but still, this is such a great little machine. I use it as a drum machine. You can do so many things with it. Um, if this were to break down today, I would order a new one at a drop of a hat immediately that's how much i love it um well that being said i hope you enjoyed this uh, stick around for more modular reviews and modular journey ahead of me um i've done in total four modular videos uh, as about now so i hope you enjoyed that if you have any feedback any anything you would like me to spend a bit more time on any faults I, or errors or mistakes I've made, please point them out to me. I'm still learning, so make sure that you uh, you help me grow while I'm on my well, modular journey, as I like to call it. Um, so that being said, have a great day, stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, see you next time. Cheers.